Okay, uh, so this is a video for Alan, just to show him how the uh, cutter plotter works. Okay, so this is the machine there, um, which I managed to get from the actual manufacturer. But uh, these are, it was a second machine, which basically had been sent out to somebody who um, had bought it on a TV shopping channel and then changed their mind and sent it back. So its the box hadn't even been opened, but it was about only two thirds the price. Um, connect it to my laptop and uh, do a quick demo to sort of show how it works. So <coughs> you're not going to be able to see this particularly brilliantly, but uh, <coughs> you can see there is um, actually a photograph, a cropped photograph of the fin design that uh, I'm going to do for the F16. That's um, oh, it's gone off. There we go. Um, that's uh, been stretched and pulled around um, because it wasn't quite dead at 90 degrees but stretched and pulled around to, to, to match an outline which I then got from a drawing so I know that proportionally it's all correct now and uh, the if I turn the um, turn that layer off you can see I built up various layers which are going to form the mask so first of all I've got a positive mask that I'm going to apply uh, which is the white area and then um, uh, spray the whole thing red and then there's another mask which I'm going to put over the top of that finished result which will be a negative mask i.e. a hole in the middle spray that that will give me the yellow and then finally the most complicated mask which is the one that I spray over the top of and that gives me the black outlines uh, to finish it off so I'm going to have a go at plotting uh, one of these I need to do so basically I can turn off all these different layers to just leave the yellow. I'm just going to uh, convert that to an outline. This is uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, so turn it into an outline. Just tweak the line thickness. Here we go. Alright, so there's an outline. A bit faint, just about to see it. Now, there is a plugin for Adobe Illustrator which enables me to send this directly to the uh, the plotter. So Silhouette Connect, send to Silhouette. There we go. And then the Silhouette Connect software, uh, which controls the plotter, will then um, fire up. So since I've already predefined my the size of my media, I'm going to put that into place like that. Um, just need to uh, change the page size, size quickly. Let me just do that. There we go. Fit the lion in. Um, okay. Just tell it that it doesn't have a cutting mat because this media has a backing on it. it. Doesn't need a cutting mat. Okay. And then basically all I need to do is to tell it what cut settings to actually use and uh, basically um, I've set up certain cut settings for different uh, media so this is going to be using Ultra Mask um, which is um, uh, the masking media that I'm going to use so set that to Ultra Mask and uh, yeah pretty much ready to go so let's just go to the um, centre silhouette and well, let's see what happens, eh? So I'm sending that. So here's the plotter. So this should be cutting out this lion here. To give me a uh, sort of a, a negative mask, so I'll peel the line out so that I can spray and, and get that shape. So this 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 uh, media is specially made for airbrush masking. It's a type of semi-transparent vinyl that's got um, sort of fairly low tack adhesive on the back, so you can um, you can peel it off easily without damaging any underlying paintwork. The plotter has got a tiny little knife in it, very sharp, it protrudes probably only about a tenth of a millimetre from the housing. 
and, um, and away it goes. It doesn't really take very long. This will be done in another 10 seconds or so, probably. I think it's nearly finished. So I can, these plots I can be used to cut any vinyl, so I could use solid vinyl and cut stickers out and well, you, you, you name it, there's all sorts of things it could be used for. I've used it on um, solar trim to cut stickers out for, for models as I explained, um, but my main reason for buying it was for paint masks. Right. That appears to be done. Now, you can bet your life there's absolutely no way the video is going to pick up the cut lines on that but I can show you what happens you then take the roll out and then you just have to what's known as weed it which means take off the bit that you don't want so this was the uh, the mask for the other side of the fin that I did so that was the uh, this one is the uh, the positive mask that I will put on when I spray red to leave that shape in white and then on top of that I have to Put this and this is basically a cop this is a, an exact this is exactly what I've just cut but in reverse because this is for the left hand and what I've just done is for the right hand so that's the negative mask so that's what's cut and you just use a scalpel blade to hook up the edge and then you pull it and it just you just peel out the bits uh, that are left and then finally the most complicated mask is this one here um, again I've weeded out the bits I don't want that's obviously the white bits um, but to get that onto the model in perfect registry, you use a, a form of layoff tape, which means I, I put the layoff tape on the, on, on the top of this, which then holds everything together. It's another low tack sort of tape. Um, and, um, um, and then I peel off the backing. Then I put this down on the model. And then the layoff tape is less sticky than this is on the model. So I then peel the layoff tape off and it leaves everything lined up. Um, all these separate little bits, all you know, perfectly as they were um, in the first place. So anyway, that's a, an idea of how it all works. Um, well, hopefully this this will save you a visit. Right, cheers, Alan. Bye.